Uh, hey, Nicole, this is for you, and uh, guess who's with me? Hi, Nicole, it's Lisa. So, um, we always talked about showing you how to do this time-lapse thing the way I do it, and um, I'm going to do that for you now. So, I'm in my After Effects, and I have a media folder, and I'm going to make a new uh, folder inside that. I'm going to call it the date of the actual thing in time-lapse. And then in that, I am going to import Command-I, and I go to that day, the, G, uh, the um, GoPro stuff, the thing. And I, what I did is I took the contents of all these folders and put it into a time-lapse all. And then you select the first clip. It defaults to JPEG sequence. If this was not JPEGs but camera raw footage, it's really bitching because it'll open it up in the raw editor and you can diddle it and make it beautiful and lovely. So um, I'm going to hit open and it's going to just then import this which is an image sequence and it defaults to 30 frames per second so I'm gonna right click on this and say interpret footage main and then I'm gonna go over here and change it to 23.98 okay so then that gives me my duration of 1 minute 20 seconds and 10 frames so you gotta remember that number because we're gonna come back to that so then I'm gonna come over here and in my comps folder I'm gonna say um, give me a new comp and I'm going to call it uh, if you look over here, here's I number things sequentially as I make comps, which may or may not make sense. So I'm going to call it 20, uh, time lapse. Um, I don't even know what road it is. Uh, I'm just going to click OK. So there's my thing. I double click that. Here's my comp down here, and here's my new comp. So what did I say it was? Uh, 1, 20, 10. So I take this, drag it down into here, and then I go uh, Command K, and up here, in the duration, I go 1, 20, 10. And so now the length of the comp matches the length of the time lapse, and there it is. Now, if I zoom out here by using my scroll mouse, you can see that's the size of the frame that I captured. So it's much larger than the HD video frame. And if I do, again, if I do Command K, it'll show me that I'm at 1920 by 1080. So the beauty of this now is that I can, not only if it were raw, can I diddle it, and because it's larger than um, HD, I can reframe it, you know, I can reframe this if I want or give it more sky or something like that. Um, but I can also zoom on it and so that's like a whole nother thing, you know, getting into the letter P for position, or no, actually the letter S for scale. I can make one keyframe there and then I can come down here and say I'm going to, uh, actually no, let's zoom, let's go like this and we'll zoom out. So maybe throughout the duration of this thing, it, it just zooms in, it zooms in. So it, it takes a while to preview that. But yeah, there's some nice, nice shots in here, actually, really nice. So then I hit um, uh, command, uh, command control M, and I'm going to do a ProRes with no audio. It's going into the same place as normal. And uh, I should probably, um, I think in the clip name, I'll give it the date. Uh, now let's figure out where we were going. So this time lapse was link into Boulder. So I will call this um, TL Boulder. And that's it. That's all I do. And then I hit render and it's going to make a ProRes. Um, you got to know how to set this stuff up. I've actually done tutorials on that. Hit render and it'll take a while. Uh, it takes a, a while to churn it out, but it's really cool when it's camera raw because then you can, you know, vignette it and re-white balance it and do all that cool stuff. So, uh, hope you enjoy this. Talk to you later. Bye.